Hey, what's happening, guys? I have got something today that I've never done before. I've got, you know, viewer gifts. I, yeah, I've received a couple of stuff in the mail, but oh, people have been sending me some crazy things lately. N not crazy like off the wall. I mean, like, I can't believe somebody would send this stuff to me because it's so cool. Anyway, first thing we want to look at is a through night. This is another flashlight. This is the Catapult V6. And... That's a big one. Yeah. You're not smaller than that one onto a plane, if you know what I mean. That works the same as all the other through nights. You know, it has all the different modes. Hold the button, go through the different modes, double click, it goes automatically into turbo. Press and hold goes into Firefly, which has an incredibly long time. Now, what I think is unique about this one uh, really there we go is it does not use an 18650 it uses a 26 or 550 how much bigger than that is than an 18650 is that well let me grab an 18650 and show you So as you can see, that is a considerably bigger. And uh, what did I say? Five thousand milliamp hour. Very close. Through night does not exaggerate the capacity on their batteries. I have found every battery. There we go. Capacity they have claimed to be quite accurate and very nice. Comes with your standard lanyard, extra O-rings, charging cable, instruction sheet. Very nice. Thank you to Thrunite. Now, on to some of these uh, viewer gifts, which like I said, I'm just I'm blown away by. First one. Uh, solid core hookup wire. I think this is probably 20 or 22 gauge. Multiple colors on a spool. Poke them out through the box. That's what I use. Here's my current spool. And as you can see, we are down to the end. So a big thanks to Russell N for sending that. Thank you, Russell. You'll see this in a lot of videos, although you might not see the box, but you'll be seeing the wires. I use that stuff all the time. Alright, next up, I'm going to find the rest of the stuff over here. One moment. Next up is this. This is a lightning arrester. This goes on to a coax cable. These are PL259 connectors, and it grounds... The outside shield. Now, this being said, that is not going to protect you or your equipment from a direct hit by lightning. We're talking hundreds of kiloamps of electricity. It'll just blow you or your shit up anyway. This will protect you in the event of nearby lightning. Nothing but the Lord above will protect you from a direct strike. Again, that was from Michael W. So that was very, very cool. Okay, next up from the Venomator, we have got uh, PL259 crimp on connectors, so they don't have to be soldered. Thank you very much. And this is very cool here. These are little jumpers, but they have an extended pool tab on them. Perfect for my little sausage fingers to get a hold of. And yes, Venomator, it's green. <laughs> Alright, next up, from Michael W., we've got... Two pairs of Heiko 
uh, side cutters. The side cutters I've been using, and there's nothing wrong with them. They came with my Anet A8 printer, of all things. They've been really good, but they're starting to wear out. So we got two sets of very nice Heiko ones. And a box of banana sockets. Very nice. Get that out of there. Make a lot of stuff with banana sockets. I will be a uh, I'll be using this in a project where I am going to combine that little power supply along with this electronic load and another player yet to be named. Now that I'm looking through here, I think I may have messed up who the side cutters came from. They may have come from the Venomator. I'm not sure. I am so sorry, guys, I, I, if I screwed that up. Whoever sent them, which one of you guys sent them, I am incredibly appreciative. Okay, here's the last one for the video. This is a 20K PPS laser galvo set. This is like a uh, laser light show. It's like having Pink Floyd in your living room. This was sent to us by John C. Thank you, John. So let's take a look at everything we got here in this kit. <clears throat> we got a power supply, 15 volts, 30 watt. A couple of controller boards. They look identical, so I'm guessing they are uh, for the two axes that control the lasers. Ah. STC microcontroller. This must be the um, the main controller board for this. Then we have some wires. And this must be the lasers and optics. I don't know how well you guys can see down in there. Probably better if I turn the light on. But there are the mirrors. I'm not sure if there are... Uh... I don't want to mess with this too much because I don't know anything about it. Lasers must be elsewhere. That's all right. We'll figure it out. Anyway, that's it for today. And holy cow, is that a lot? Guys, thank you all so much for sending this stuff. I'm, I am totally, totally overwhelmed by your generosity and your support. Uh, thank you so much. That's, that's, that's all I can say. That's it. I'm out. Peace.